Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at absolute value uh, e uh, equations and inequations again, and uh, we're going to do it by the graphical method. And uh, you can see here there's a couple of absolute values. Why? Because the absolute value of 2x minus 5, you can see I've drawn here. It would go through, let's have a look. It would hit, start with that. It's going to bounce like the earlier example. It would bounce at about 2.5. Uh, it would go through here. Obviously that negative 5 is reflected up. 5. The other graph y equals x plus 2 would come through 2 here, uh, hit minus 2, and then that would get reflected back up again. Okay, so you can see here there are varying slopes, uh, and one's about double the steepness of the other one. So let's actually have a quick look. What arms, uh, let's actually write in the arms. Okay, so the arms, um, this is the positive arm over here, 2x minus 5 and its negative arm over here, minus 2x minus 5. Okay. How about x plus 2? Well, x plus 2, this is the positive arm over here, and the negative arm is the reflected arm over here, minus. Okay, remember, it's a negative of x plus 2. Okay, it's been reflected up. Okay, try and make that into a 2. Okay. Okay, a 2. Okay, here we are x plus 2. All right. Now, um, first up, we're going to actually draw the graph of this uh, combined absolute value uh, function. And um, first up, uh, we have a quick look. How am I going to draw the combined graph of these two? Well, uh, there's a couple of critical points. You can see here, minus 2 and 2.5. And so uh, if you have a quick look, uh, in this section in here, okay, in there, I'm going to have to add those two graphs. Um, and obviously over here, on this side over here, I'm going to have to add those two graphs over there. And when I go over here, I'm going to have to, well, I missed that other graph, <laughs> but we're going to have to add that graph uh, minus 2x plus 2 and minus uh, of 2x minus 5 over there, uh, less than when, when the x value is less than negative 2. So we're going to now draw the new graph. Okay, it's going to be made up of three sections. Okay, uh, when... Uh, Okay, when x is a uh, less than negative 2, it, I have a combined negative arm. I have the actual minus of a 2x minus 5, and I've got also the minus of the x plus 2. Okay, so this is going to be what the equation would look like. y equals this expression. Uh, okay, uh, let's move that across a little bit. Okay, so... Let's have a look. Let's actually just work out what it looked like. Okay, um, negative 2x minus 3, so it's actually going to look like y is equal to what? Minus 3x. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, minus, so it's 5 minus 2, so it's just going to be plus 3. Okay, so this bit here, y equals minus 3x minus 5, will in fact be the graph when x is less than minus 2. Okay, so. Uh, Let's have a look. Uh, let's actually just write that on. And we'll just okay, we can see we've got y equals minus 3x plus 3. Now, where would that be? Uh, if I actually uh, drew a line up here, the graph over there, when x is less than minus 2, looks like y equals minus 3x plus 3. Okay, we now want to have a look at how about, okay, the next little section, when x is between minus 2 and 2.5. And so, let's have a look. x is actually between, what, minus 2 and say two and a half. Okay. What does the graph look like in that section of the domain? Um, well, it's the, have a quick look over here. It's, we're using this, this one and we're using this one. Okay, so we need to add those together. So uh, what, y would be equal to, okay, let's actually use the correct pen. Y would be equal to, now what's that? Negative 2x minus 5 plus, okay, let's actually just write it, minus of 2x minus 5 plus x plus 2. So that's just going to be what? Minus x, minus x, uh, then what? 5 and 2 is 7. Okay, so let's just write that in here. So in this section in here, we're going to be looking at y is equal to minus x plus 7. Okay, all right. How about when x is larger than 
two and a half. So let's just uh, rub this out. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay. When x is larger than two and a half, okay, so we are now going to be looking at when uh, x is, say, greater than two and a half, okay, um, what happens? Well, let's have a quick look. Where are we looking at? Okay, we're looking at over here. What have we got? Well, okay, let's have a quick look. What have we got? Well, we actually have, again, the positive arm of the x plus 2 and the positive arm of the 2x minus 5. So we've got the two positive arms are now adding together to create the, this function in that domain. So we have now that what y is equal to y is equal to what x plus 2 plus 2x minus 5 or if you like uh, 2x minus 5 plus x plus 2 which would be uh, what 3x minus 3. Okay. Pen seems to be playing up a bit. Okay, minus 3x, now it'll be what? Minus 3. Okay. Okay, so let's go over here. So the graph would be looking like over in this section, uh, y is equal to uh, 3x minus 3. Now we have to basically draw this new graph and then draw the line y equals 7 and see where they intersect. Okay. So I'm now going to just pause the video and we're going to draw in the new graph. Now at the particular points, uh, obviously the two graphs should be equal, so it wouldn't matter on the boundary what uh, put minus 2 into. I could put, uh, for instance, I could put minus 2 into this one uh, for x and then I'd get 9. Okay. Or I could put, uh, how, about, how about I put minus 2 into that one and get uh, 6 and 3 is 9 again. Okay, so the height would be 9 at minus 2. So if you like, uh, it would be 5, so 9 up here. So basically I'm going to have to redraw this graph. So I'll, what I'll do is... I'll okay, well, let's actually just see how I draw this. Okay, so I think it's a good exercise. We'll just put in minus 2 again. We had minus 2, so we end up getting at about 9. So we have a 9 value here. So let's actually mark that in. Say a 9 value, okay. Say 9, roughly here. Say 9, okay. How about at uh, 2 and a half? Well, at 2 and a half, we end up getting, let's put it into minus x plus 7, so we end up getting about 4 and a half, okay. So when I put 2 and a half in, I could put it into the 3x minus 3 as well. Um, but uh, let's put it into the easiest one because we know that these uh, the points that crossover points or joining points are obviously would satisfy both graphs, okay, because we added them together. Okay, so basically let's put in uh, two and a half, uh, negative two and a half plus seven should be about, uh, what's that, uh, negative, uh, sorry, positive four and a half, so if we say four and a half, so, so about here coming out to say about four and a half is roughly here. Okay, now I, what I can n now do is actually uh, join this line here, and I know that that value there would be in fact 7. We know it's got a slope of negative 1. Now the other graphs would actually normally be, go, be going through, uh, let's have a look, they'd be going through say, you can see here, minus 3. So this one would be going through minus 3 down here, coming up something like that, through that point, and the other one would actually be going through 3 uh, with a slope of negative 3, so it would be going through say 3 here, somewhere like this. So I'm just going to be drawing in these graphs roughly at this point. Okay, so I'm now going to draw in, okay, let's go back to the graphs, okay. So this would be normally going, okay, the steepness has now increased from, well, it's actually 2n1, so it's about 3 now, so uh, I just want to be going up this way, and this graph will be going up this way. Now, we're actually asked, um, where it's equal to 7, and you can see here the line 7. Uh, let's see. Let's actually draw that in as a line 7. So let's actually draw 7 in and, uh, okay, have a quick look. Now, okay, so we can see, actually, uh, when x is 0 uh, would be one solution. So let's just check that out. Uh, 2 times 0 minus 5 is minus 5. The absolute value of minus 5 is, in fact, 5. Plus uh, 0 plus 2 is actually 2, so the absolute value of 2 is, is 2, so 2 and 5 is 7, yes. So one solution we can see graphically straight off 
is, okay, so the solution from the graph, you can see that in fact uh, x is equal to 0 is a solution, okay. But how about this other solution over here? This is, uh, okay, and you can see here we can now do it quite easily. We just equate 3x minus 3 to 7, so this solution over here, okay, this solution here is where 7 is equal to this arm going up that way, 3x minus 3. And you can just see that this solution there would be, what, 10 over 3 or uh, 3 and a third. So the solution would be, what, um, 3 and 1 third, 10 over 3. Now, I always do suggest you do check these solutions. I mean, we know 0 works, but uh, we're going to now uh, check, um, uh, see what happens when we actually put 3 and a third in. So let's have a look. Let's just check. Okay. Third, uh, 2, 3 and a thirds. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the absolute value of 2, 3 and a thirds is what, 6 and 2 thirds minus 5. Okay. Minus 5. Uh, fix this up. Minus 5. Okay. And then we have to uh, add in what, uh, obviously, the absolute value of, uh, what's that, 3 and a third plus 2, 5 and a third. Now, what does that equal? Well, that's the absolute value of 1 and 2 thirds plus 5 and 2 thirds. Yes, it does equal 7. Hallelujah. Right, so the two solutions are this one here, uh, 0, when x is 0, and this one over here. And uh, the value, as you can see, if we drop that down here, uh, the solution should be about 3 and a third. 3 and 1 third. Okay, you can see it's a bit messy, but uh, if you can actually draw the combined graph of the two absolute values added together, then it's really easy to find the points uh, because you know that in that particular section, uh, 3x minus 3 must equal 7, uh, and you can actually see the solutions uh, in front of your very eyes. Well, thank you for watching. This is a bit of a harder example. Uh, we'll look at the uh, inequalities uh, shortly.